The entire internet seems very confused why ballerinas destroy their shoes, so I'll explain it to you. Even if you get custom shoes, point shoes don't really come wearable. So here I'm softening up the box so it molds to my feet better. Not everyone does this, but I cut off half the shank of my shoe. It makes it easier to get over the box and makes my foot look good. You can have this customized, but it's expensive and it honestly doesn't take long to do yourself. Ballerinas are not meant to be heard, so by banging them out, you just get some of the sound out of the shoe. The shoe will get quieter the more you dance, and then the shoe will kind of die, but sometimes there's rolls that require a hard shoe and you still don't want to be loud. Point shoes are really expensive, and dancers can go through one or two pairs a week, but when you're in a company, they usually provide shoes for you. You can add jet glue to make the shoe last longer. I often do it before I even start dancing in the shoe, but a lot of people do it when the shoe starts to get soft. Still more to do once you put the shoe on your foot. When a point shoe is brand new, it literally feels like a brick on your foot, so you're trying to mold it to your foot. Hope that cleared up some of the confusion.